Today, this lunchtime, a conditional agreement which should have been signed by midday has yet to be agreed. It's the latest setback in the saga which has left the supporters wondering whether it will ever happen. Well, our sports reporter Matthew Pick is in our newsroom. Matt, it's never ending. What's the latest news? Uh, well, the latest news, Ali, is we're still waiting. No great surprise there, really, is it? Now, the man heading this consortium, Andrew Fitton, is actually out of the country on holiday this week. I'm not sure what sort of break he's actually having. I've been speaking to a man called Jeremy Ray this morning, who is his business partner. Now, he was hoping to have this conditional agreement signed by 12 noon. That was the hope. So far, that hasn't gone through, although he told me some 10 or 15 minutes ago, that really is now imminent. Literally, he's waiting for a phone call back from his solicitor. Once that has been agreed, there are still a few loose ends to tie up. And they say, this consortium, that they've already got a chief executive all ready to take their place at the club. And they're hoping that chief executive will start tomorrow morning if the deal goes through. Now, the fans have been understandably frustrated with the time that this has taken to sort out. They handed out leaflets and staged a protest at Saturday's game with Brighton. Of course, when this deal goes through, and I think it's fair to assume that it will, the new owners will have to contend with not only finding a new manager, but only the small matter of some debts totalling some £4 million. It looks like it will go through, but this is Swindon Town Football Club. Back to you. Thank you very much indeed. And has headed a consortium which has now taken over 75%. That's a controlling interest in the football club. It's fantastic news for their fans. They've been very vocal in recent weeks, uh, protesting about the previous regime. Many worried, in fact, that they might not have a football club to support. I must just say the New Deal does have conditions attached. Uh, they relate to the uh, development rights of the county ground and or a new stadium and the existing inland revenue debt. Um, but it, it'll be good news for the players as well, of course. They're waiting to see if there'll be a new manager for Swindon Town. And I guess that's the uh, pressing task, really, for the new owners to get that management team in and get going. But I think overall, the present that Swindon Town fans were looking for. A new era tonight. After weeks of negotiation, a takeover deal has finally been signed. A consortium headed by local businessman Andrew Fitton has agreed to buy a controlling 75% stake in the club. Fans are delighted. But the deal still relies on some problems being sorted out by the 11th of January. Well, Matthew Pick has been in Swindon following events. So maybe at last some good news for Swindon Town Football Club. OK, there is the small matter of a bill to the inland revenue to sort out. Supporters here say that life at this football club is often like a soap opera. So it's wholly appropriate that they've left the best storyline till Christmas. Every boardroom takeover sparks conversations amongst its employees and a football club is no exception. Today, some of Swindon's players were at the town's Great Western Hospital visiting the children's wards. There was relief that the deal is finally going through. You know, it is a relief for the players as well because, you know, you, you do wonder uh, every month whether you're going to get paid on time. But um, hopefully now that should be uh, resolved. Protests by fans have been a common occurrence at Swindon this season. Unhappy with what they'd seen as a lack of progress, today's news brought a drastic change of mood. Yeah, we're delighted really. I mean, it's not 100% sorted yet, but it's definitely looking a lot more positive. It just goes on and on, doesn't it? And they don't never get out of trouble. That's the thing about it. It's been going on for years now, owing money, and they never seem to pay it. Whilst Town are through to the third round of the FA Cup, they're without a full-time manager and £4 million in debt. The inland revenue is owed £2 million, much of which has to be repaid next month. The new consortium has much to do. Uh, I think there were inevitably times when we all got a bit frustrated with how long it was taking. Um, but uh, no, we, we were determined to see it through. Of course, Swindon have been this close to a takeover before. Earlier this winter, a Portuguese consortium called Best Holding had also come to a conditional deal. It fell through, but this deal insists the current board is different. Much, much further down the line. I mean, in fact, apart from a couple of issues, which um, I think we all agree can be resolved as formalities, um, we can see the, the new owners taking control and going forward. And I wish Andrew Fitton and his consortium the very best of luck, because football's a tough game, as you all know. For a club which has lurched from one crisis to another in recent times, this does look like the start of a new era. But you can understand those long-suffering supporters who are wondering if this is just yet another false dawn.